Turing machine to modified post correspondence problem. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert a Turing machine into and uh, um, to a modified post correspondence problem. So we have seen in previous lecture uh, what is modified post correspondence problem. So we will be given with two sequence uh, wi sequence of strings wi and xi. Uh, so we need to convert this Turing machine into some two sequence that is xi wi. If you are able to convert that into two sequence then we call it as we have converted to modified post correspondence problem and the problem is not complete. We have to check uh, whether the Turing machine accepts W. If the Turing machine accepts W then the modified post correspondence problem should have a solution. So what should be our input? We are interested in converting the Turing machine to sets of strings sequence of strings so we'll be given with the Turing machine and we'll be given with one string W so we are going to take this as our Turing machine example and this is our going to be our string now there are set of rules for converting then we then after after defining what is WI and XI these two sequences mm -hmm. we will check whether the string is accepted by Turing machine if it is accepted by Turing machine then we should be able to give a solution to this problem that is modified post correspondence problem now there are rules for defining this wi creating the list wi and xi so the rules has five steps actually we'll be adding an initial sequence hash hash q naught w hash this q naught is the initial state of turing machine w is the input string that we are getting here this w and hash this is the first sequence we need to include for all conversions and next is we need to include all tape symbols so whatever is the tape symbol except blank we'll be including all the tape symbols and finally instead of blank we'll be adding uh, a separator hash symbol now third third rule is for transition see we have uh, a, a Turing machine with a set of transitions See, the transition is ca ca categorized into four classes. Say, for example, if we are going to have some tape symbol and write move, we need to include certain set in the list. If you have some tape symbol and left move, then it has to be like this. For blank and right move, blank and left move. There are four categories. So, we need to classify all the transitions of this Turing machine according to this case. And you have to accordingly update W list and X list. And fourth rule is for accepting state. So here our accepting whatever Q is the accepting state and X and Y are tape symbols. X and Y belongs to tape symbols. So we need to include all combinations of tape symbols uh, X and Y and we have to add a Q is going to be the final state here. Okay. And last sequence. For all it is q hash hash q where this q is final state. This is final state. Okay, whatever is the final state of Turing machine we will be including like this. So far I know that this is not these rules are not clear. These are set of rules that is defined for converting a Turing machine to M's, M uh, modified post correspondent problem. Now we will take one example and we will see how to apply these rules to the given Turing machine. Now this is our Turing machine. We are going to take this as our example. So we have three states Q1, Q2, Q3 of which Q3 is the final state. Okay. And it is having six transitions. See two right transitions for input tape, two left transitions for input tape, one blank right transition and one blank left transition. So we have all cases. This comes under case one. This comes under case 2 and write blank with right case 3 and case 4. So we have all transitions, possible transitions. So we, we, will, we will be including the set of W and X list according to the transitions. Okay, now we will start with including the list. First is initial sequence. As I have told you, 
whatever may be the case, we have to include the initial sequence W list with hash and X list with hash. Q0 is the initial state, but for this Turing machine, it is Q1. And what is W? It is 0, 1 hash. So first rule is over. Okay. Now coming to tape symbols, what are the tape symbols? The possible tape symbols for this Turing machine is 0, 1 and blank. But we are not going to include blank in the second rule. So you will be including 0, 0 uh, and then 1, 1 and separator hash, hash. So rule tool is over. I think I made myself clear. Second rule, you need to include the tape symbols. The tape symbols of this Turing machine is 0, 1. From the diagram, it is clear that 0, 1 and blank. Blank, we will not be including. Instead of blank, we will be adding separator. Okay. So, second rule is over. And the third rule, third rule, we will go with transitions. Okay. Now, here we have four categories of transition. One is tape symbol with the right move. Tape symbol with left move, blank with right move and blank with left, I am sorry, here this is left, left move. So, we have uh, examples here. So, we will take this, say for example, we will take case 1 transitions, that is uh, tape symbols with right move. See here we have a transition, delta of q1, comma 0 is equal to q2 comma 1 comma r q2 comma 1 comma r see this transition i have taken first okay so from q1 it is going to accept a 0 it is going to q2 with change of symbol to 1 and r this comes exactly as first case so what we have to add we have to add in the w list q1 0 so this is q1 0 this is qx so i have added qx here and this is going to be y and this is going to be p so yp is 1q okay now we have one more example to better understand we will take a similar case transition which is this one from q2 to q1 it's going so delta of q2 comma 1 is equal to q1 comma 0 comma r so this this is what the transition which i am taking from q2 it is going to q1 so how we have to include same case first case tape symbol with a right move so you have to take us q1 i'm sorry q21 this one q21 with 0q1 yes you are right 0q1 okay this is case 1 so I think with this two transition, it is very clear how we have added this, this two sequence in W and X list. Okay. Now coming to the next case. Next case is tape symbol with left move. So we have two moves for that also. One is this one. One is this one from Q1 to Q2. So you write the transition delta of Q1 comma 1 is equal to q2 comma 0 comma l okay tape symbol with left move so here we have something called as z it's not like the previous case you have z this z refers to tape symbols this z refers to tape symbols so what are except blank okay so what are the possible tape symbols we have 0 and then this one we have to write as q11 and what is p here q2 so q2 the same zero you have to add here zero and y is zero now tape symbol what are the tape symbols we have zero and one are the tape symbols now we so z should take zero value and z should take one value also so you repeat the same for one okay two productions we need to include for this left left direction move now again there is one more left direction move you try of your own see here from q2 to q3 there is 0 0 okay so from q2 taking a 0 it is going to q3 with a 0 and a left move so this is the next transition i am taking with left move so q2 0 q3 
3 is 0 left. Okay, the same thing we have taken. So here again you have to apply case 2. What is case 2? 0, q2, 0, q3, 0, 0. Likewise, 1, q2, 0, q3, 1, 0, q3, 1, 0. So we have to take that left move, that left move. Okay, so fine. So we have included, uh, since we have two tape symbols, there should be two sequence in list. So this is what is for this transition. This is for this transition. This is for this. And uh, this is for this transition. So totally we have six transitions in our Turing machine, out of which we have completed four now. Now coming to blank transition, see. For blank, we have two transitions, one blank with right, another one blank with left. So blank with right, we'll go with case three, okay? So we'll take that transition. From Q2, it's taking a blank. It remains in the same state. From Q2, it's taking a blank. It's remaining in the same state, but blank replaced with zero and moving towards the right-hand side, moving towards the right-hand side. So instead of, this is very similar to that of this case, but instead of x, you are using a hash. Here, along with this yp, you are including another hash. That's all. So we won't be including blank. Instead, you will be including q2 hash. And here, we will be including 0 q2 hash. 0 q2 hash. Because our y is 0 here, p is q2 hash. Okay, only one production. This is for this transition. And next transition, delta of, for blank left, we have one transition, right? So here, this is, this is the last one. There are six transitions totally. We are going to take the last one. Q1, blank. It's going to Q2, replaced with one comma, left. So from Q1, it's taking a blank. Re going to Q2, replacing blank with 1 and moving towards the left hand side. So whenever left hand side comes in, we need to take care of this Z also. So tape symbols, we know that you have to, we have two tape symbols. So it is 0, first we will be taking 0. Here it is Q hash. Okay, so Q1 hash and what is P? P is Q2, 0, 1, hash. Likewise, you repeat for the other tape symbol, Q2, 1, 1, hash. So transition, for transition, we have included 1 for right, 1 for right, 2 for left for 1 transition, left transition, you have included 2 sequence. Another left transition to sequence because we are interested in two tape symbols. Again, blank right will have one transition. Blank left will have two transitions. So we have completed with the third rule. Now coming to the fourth rule. Okay, fourth rule. So fourth rule, this Q is Q3. Okay, because this is the final state. And what about x and y? x and y can take all possible combinations of 0, 1 because that is the tape symbol. So what are the possibilities? q3, 0, 0, q3, 1, 1, q3, 0, 1, q3, 1. This is for first case, all combination. But y list is going to be just q3, okay, for all. And x means 0 q3 here you'll be having q3 1 q3 you'll be having q3 and q3 1 you'll be having q3 q3 0 you'll be having q3 y taking 0 and 1 okay so that's all fourth rule for fourth rule i have added this many this many uh, sequences for W in W list and this many sequence in X list. Okay. Now finally, last sequence, last sequence is Q3. 
final state is q3 here right final state is q3 so last sequence q3 hash hash will be having a hash here so we have com convert completed converting the given turing machine into w list and x list based upon the five rules that are given to us based upon the five rules we are given to us